Hey Leo, how's it going? I hope you're all having a great week. This is going to be a love reading. Who needs to hear these messages the most? How it resonates with your life. Take what does resonate. You know to always head over and watch your rising moon and Venus placement readings for additional clarity. Depending what does come out, I am going to pull a card of timing. Um, I'm going to pull Scrabble tiles. Quick reminder, giving I am giving away two free personal love readings this month. So for those of you that are new, go ahead and subscribe. Um, by subscribing, you'll be able to take away in the monthly giveaways. I do this each and every month. You just need to be a subscriber, and most of the time, it's two or more free readings. Around the holidays, I do monetary gift cards, but for this month, it'll be two free love readings. Leave a vacation emoji down below, whatever your phone allows you to leave. That means a vacation to you. Palm trees, plane, pool, hiking, whatever it is that you love to do that makes you feel your own vacation. Um, leave that down below, and then at the end of the month, I'll randomly choose those two people, reach out to you initially through YouTube, but of course, at the end of the month, like I do each and every month, I always remind you to check your notifications for those that participated to see if you got a message from me. And then we'll take it from there. All right, my amazing Leos. Unconditional love. Bam. Coming towards you. End of reading. No, just kidding. This love knows no bounds. This person is in a wheelchair. So that's amazing. No, it's like no matter the handicap, whether it be distance, whether it be um, a handicap, you know, a real physical handicap. It's like no matter the time, the distance, the space, or what the situation is, unconditional love. And I love that. Past life with this person. Past life connection coming into your life. Hot mess, chaotic energy, reflection needed. Now, cross watchers, take it as it resonates. You may need to flip it. Maybe some Leos out there that felt that you know that we're going through a hard time, needing to really provide growth within themselves. However, this resonates with your situation and happiness. You're happily ever after. I do feel growth within a situation. I feel like you've planted the seeds here. And there is about to be growth in your love life. Like almost like the seven of pentacles type energy. I love that. Love knows no bounds. It's almost like being completely honest about the situation, being completely honest with yourself. Do you see this? Um, you could be thinking about something from the past, like, you know, wearing rose colored glasses. I really feel with hot mess and clarity here, it's like a lot of truth that you're finding within yourself, Leo. A lot of growth. Your third eye being awakened. You're not seeing things for an illusion anymore. Or if you ever have. You're seeing it for as they really are. And making decisions based on that. I definitely feel a lot of growth within you. And there's that renewal. That spark. There's a new cycle starting in your life in terms of love. I feel like you're, with the sacral chakra here. You're going to be very intrigued by this person. Have a lot of passion towards this person. They're going to do it for you. But also, I feel like, again, being very grounded. And there is that. For some of you, it's going to be a reunion. A soulmate. It could be them that is taking the blindfold off. That may have had fears of their own. Hot mess. Looks like they haven't left their room in weeks, months. So I definitely feel that they, you know, somebody you might have been dealing with needed to go through strength and transition within themselves. But there you are, a soulmate connection. Mm. 
We're going to do past, present, and future. Seven of Pentacles energy. Exactly. I feel growth here. I feel like you've put out there to the universe what you've wanted, you've manifested, you know, the type of the characteristics, the characteristics, the qualities, the physical features of a person. You know, it's like when you vision yourself in the future standing beside someone, what is that person? What can they bring to the table? What do they look like? What, you know, it's like what you've planted, all the work you've put into your life, the strength that you've obtained. There's now going to be growth within your love life. Could be with a water sign coming in very romantic for you. It's like they've got something to say and they're bringing in communication. It's going to be very, like I said, romantic. It's going to be very sweeping you off your feet. And the future is heartbreak. For some of you with soul tie here, it very well could be a twin flame co connection. Coming back, it not being the perfect timing. Like I said, seeing things for the truth. I do feel that they're going to make their way to you and they're going to be very... They're going to... They're going to sweep you off your feet. But I do feel that... In time, they will be your happily ever after. But I still feel heartbreak. Let's see. Please clarify Leo's past energy. Yeah. The two, two of you definitely share a soul connection. The lovers is here. The ace of wands. There is going to be a breakthrough. There is going to be growth in your love life. Please clarify the knight of cups. Let me get what just fell on the floor. Give me one second. Even though they're coming in very romantic for you, I still feel you're in your best energy. You're in your leader type energy. This also could be, Leo, that you already have another connection in your life and someone is coming towards you looking for a reunion. Like I said, I do feel that they're going to tell you that they have unconditional love for you. But I do feel, Leo, that you know your soul, in your soul, you recognize this person. You, your, your souls have been together in past lives. So it's like you might find yourself easily driven towards them and needing to make a decision. For those of you dealing with a third party already or, you know, you already have tried to move on and this person resurfaces, that, that might be the heartbreak. Needing to make like a love triangle. Needing to make a decision. Please clarify the three of swords for Leo in the future. Yeah, the devil, the two of wands. I feel for some of you, you may have already been in a connection. And this person is going to be a huge temptation for you. And then you're left making a decision. Let's see what else I can get for you. I really feel though you're going to, it's not like even though your soul recognizes this, this person and you knew that there was a deeper connection at a time that you dealt with them in this lifetime, it's like you're not going to be so quick to take that leap off the cliff like the fool. It's like you're going to stay in your role and let them prove it to you. 
Yeah, they can't stop thinking about you. It's almost like been an epiphany in their mind. In the separation, it's like, no, I want my Leo. With the Three of Pentacles showing up here for a few of you, not for all of you, this may be somebody that you met through work and, you know, you had another connection. They may have had another connection. However, it resonates for you, but it might have stemmed from work. The two of you might have met there. You might have started flirting, realized there was um, an attraction, a spark there. It might have even been that healing energy that you needed from something in the past. And it's like, but for some of you, I, I feel somebody wanting to come. I have air energy here. And I truly feel they haven't been able to move on from you, Leo. Lib we have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have fellow fire energy. So you, they may have fire and air in their chart. But then I also have water energy. But it's like they're, they're, they're done overthinking this. They're tired of it. They want to make that move. They're coming in very quickly for you. But I do feel you might need to make a decision. Like a love triangle. And it sucks because I do feel this person returning is genuine. They want to be with you. But there, I do see this temptation here for you. Spirit, why the devil twice? Wow. Yeah, they were unable to make a decision. It's like they were in that hot mess energy and not wanting to take the blindfold off. They could have been codependent. They might have suffered from an addiction. They might have just been so stuck in their fears and anxiety from things that they dealt with and they couldn't move on. They really had imbalance in their life. But realizing that you, they want you as their happily ever after. This, I mean, they're coming in with the truest intent. But I do feel that there's going to be a love triangle here for some. Or, like I said, you met someone that either you are already in a connection or they are already in a connection. And it's like, you know, no matter the obstacles, the two of you just feel drawn to each other and you want to make it work. Let's get a message from them to you. This is a destined partnership. Twice it came out. Protected, we are safe and divinely guided. I feel empty without you. I'm changing and learning hard lessons. Anything else from Leo's person to Leo? It's almost like they want to come in and take it very, like they want to come in quickly. They feel They fear losing you. But then they want to take their time with you so you regain your trust in them. Can I please have a card of timing for Leo? We got two, so we're going to take them. Because it's not going to completely resonate for each and every one of you. In November, so around the fall, possibly moving in towards the winter, and in a few weeks... Within a few weeks and very soon here, I do feel for some of you that could have been a longer, you know, a longer time away from this person. Maybe, you know, maybe many months, maybe even a year or longer. A, a soul type love is hard to get over. A soul type love almost feels like it's, you know, you very well could be with someone else and you have all intentions to make it work. That person is an A+. Plus. They, they show up. They do everything for you. You know, wanting the best experiences with you. The best energy. But then you find yourself thinking about someone else. It's like you can't help 
who you love. You can't help who your heart's drawn towards. All right. And I feel like somebody needed to hear that. All right. We have L, U, H, S, D, T, blank scrabble tile so you can fill it in as it applies, A, oh, R, I, E, and then the rest are, so we have deer, I, I almost see like ride or die. Ride, R-I-D-E, die, D-I-E. We definitely have or, O-R, ride or die, chick. It's like your, your best times were with one another. All right. All right, Leo, let me know how it resonates. Leave a vacation emoji down below letting me know that you're interested in the free to love reading giveaway this month and anytime you would like me to tune into just your energy um, just click on the link below to my Etsy shop it'll take you right over there I can provide clarity and guidance for what situation you're going through and be tuning into just your energy so much love and light Leo